Yes, meet Peter Philpot, who we've dubbed Australia's crankiest computer repairman. Tonight, his customers hit back at potty mouth Pete. Give it to you in bits. I'll give it to you in one case put together. I didn't give it to you in bits. Yes, you gave it to me broken, darling. He's the Basil Faulty of the computer business. The minute I am finished doing what I'm doing, I will attend to you. And just like Basil. I'm doing with idiots, idiot. Yeah, yeah. He's had just about enough of those annoying things called customers. What's the problem? What's the problem? Mm is some people don't have patience, they won't wait their turn, they're rude, arrogant, selfish. Peter Philpot owns Albatross Computers. How's business? It's booming. It's booming. People love being assaulted. Them. Where the customers are like, well, yeah, an albatross around his neck. I was verbally abused for about five minutes. Yes, I do swear a lot. Do you admit that? I do. It's not yes. a good thing to do. No, it's not. Yeah. However, customers deserve a little bit of respect. Customers swear at me. I swear oh, as much as they do to start. I, and this so what? It, it, it was swear fest know. in this store, isn't it? Can be. Cranky Pete operates in a town called Woi Woi. Feel the serenity here. But boy, oh boy, there's a cranky man in Woi Woi. You're an idiot, mate. You're a f idiot, mate. No, I'm not. Oh my is Margaret a rude person? She was that day. No, I wasn't. Wouldn't wait a turn. I, was I, very demanding. I insisted on a re I this is So, uh, Sorry. But, but isn't the first rule of retail, the customer's always right? No, it's not. And these ladies soon discovered that. 72-year-old Margaret purchased a keyboard from Pete. She later put it in for repair, claiming it was faulty. Pete says it wasn't. I eventually had to get the assistance of a police constable to come in the store with me. You needed a police escort to get your keyboard back. Yes, well, I thought I did. I wasn't going to go in there alone. Wendy was with her. When you went in there, you were reduced to tears. Well, because he was using the most revolting language, all of the horrible words that you shouldn't be hearing. We've been a customer. Helen and her mum went in to retrieve their phone which still hadn't been repaired after six long weeks. Yeah, he's come running towards us with his arms up in the air. So she filmed the wobbly in Woi Woi. Yes, I am going to look after you. You have to be patient because I like to you like everybody We've else. waited for six weeks. Note, there is no one in the store. How long do you want people to wait? As long as it takes. I'm a bit intimidated by these women here. You're intimidated by this? Oh, absolutely. Why yes. is that? Why is that? Why? I don't think Margaret had heard a fly. I was afraid. You're afraid of Helen? You're afraid of this? Yes. Wendy? You're, Wendy's sitting down. She can't even stand up properly. I can hardly stand so up. My blood afraid. pressure's through the floor. I have results here, okay? Well, I have results. I'm not liking the results that I'm seeing because I'm wrong well, here. Right. Have you had a look on your Facebook page? Absolutely. There's reams of people yeah. oh, complaining. Oh, there's a couple of hundred, yeah. Yes, yeah. there's a couple of hundred. Yeah, and there's a... Are they all so wrong? And there's a thousand that are laughing at them. Really? Thousands. Really? Yes. I don't know if there's too yeah. many people laughing oh, at them. Oh, yes, there is. I've gone through they, your Facebook, not, but there's, yeah. no, there's nobody saying that they feel sorry right. for you. His attitude is terrible, and I'm surprised he's still in business. I found the service to be horrific. I have never been so disgusted in my life at the way I was treated. Um, is there a pattern with all the customers? No, they're different. They're different issues. Some customers. Let me do some this other one issues. first. Okay? Yeah, but I haven't got time for that. There's hundreds Jeez, of customers. Let me do this one. I've got to go home. I've got to wipe the kids. The weekend's coming. There's Wait, something please. else about Woi Woi, I must tell you. Yes, I saw it. You saw the jewelry yes, story. I did. After the abuse and intimidation, the phone calls, do you think that I would go back there? Just down the road from Pete's shop is the Woi Woi jeweller, who is also upsetting customers. He bought me out a bracelet, and when I seen it, I nearly passed out because it wasn't my bracelet. And I couldn't believe it. I said to him, this is not my bracelet. He said, don't you talk to me like that. Who do you think you are? By that time, I felt like I was going to be sick. Those Brian, the jeweller, is also alleged to be slow in delivering the goods. Did the ring no. take more than a no. year? The order only came in last year to about five months. Okay. He says it only took five months. It was a year. Someone's telling some porky pies. Well, I've got the records anyway. Oh, 
Show us the records. I'll get the records again. Okay, okay, because there's a few lines going on. I don't, you know, somebody's pants is going to catch on fire here. You won't be surprised to know. He knows the jeweler. Yeah, it's a number of my clients who have dealings with him. Yeah, I they, yeah. yeah. Well, no, put it um, this way, they ain't go there anymore. No, well, they still come here though. He's a cranky retailer. He's cranky. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of cranky retailers yeah, up here. Exactly. There's something in the water, if you ask me. Well, seriously, the problem is the people. Um, everybody that I talk to absolutely hates dealing with the public. The public is like demanding. So mm. now, 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 I want, I want it now. Do you think it might be time for a career change? No. Yes, there must be times when customers are rude and demanding. But just in case, I'm not taking any chances. Hey, I've got a problem with my keyboard, but I'm not sure if I'm a good customer or not. But Am Pete I... wanted to talk more about Margaret's keyboard when he let this one slip. Fair trading. Fair trading's been in contact with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Constantly. Constantly. Mm. Oh, I think it's best we leave it there. And Pete can ponder the shop's new slogan, which I'd given him a little earlier. Go away and don't come back, please. And number, is that on, the business? Hey, that would go well on the front here. Go yeah. away and don't come back. Exactly. Please excuse me. I must go back to work to look after my valued clients. Thank oh, you. The ones you have left.